to my home! <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy Merritt and I'm your local real estate partner. And just like you, I live, work, and play in the Richmond, Virginia area and all around our wonderful surrounding counties. Today we are visiting with Sean Small, who's the general manager of the River City Sports and Social Club. Sean, thank you for letting us come visit. Thanks for coming to visit. Great. What's going on today? Today we have dodgeball going on. It's uh, all adult sports, co-ed, and let's see, there's a bunch of people who just want to throw balls at each other and get a little steam out after their long day at work. Okay. All right. Now, I've been on your website and you've got sports going on all year long. Yes. And you got 12 different sports that happen? This, this fall, right now, we have seven getting ready to start up. We have three or four finishing up or in the middle. Okay. We have axe throwing, which is in the middle of the season. Wait a minute. You have axe throwing? Axe throwing, yes. Okay. I'm really glad that we're not doing the opening <laughs> with axe throwing. Okay. Go ahead. What else have you got? <laughs> we also have other things like uh, coming up this fall. We have football, kickball, uh, basketball, floorball, which is kind of it's like hockey, but it's it's a much faster paced game and less contact. Okay. Wiffle ball, that'll be played here at the same location as a dodgeball right now. Okay. And uh, actually for kickball, we have two different nights. We have a Saturday night and a Wednesday night. So two separate leagues and people can play on both. Okay. Now you said it's co-ed and is everybody here a super duper athlete? Or? No, no, no. Okay. So we're, we're kind of designed to, not for the competitive. But we do have some division. We have different levels. So we have a top division, a middle division, a lower division. Most people play in the middle division because they want to play in playoffs and what have you. The lowest division is extremely for uh, it's mainly for people who want to just uh, relax, have fun, get off some steam at the end. Don't worry about playing against another team that is uh, going to want to make playoffs or anything like that. So they don't have to worry about the pressure of playing some team that's gunning them down. It's like it's all here. We're all having fun. Okay, different age groups. Um, our range is 21 to 50. I mean, I have people all depends on what sport. We have cornhole too. That, have a little bit older crowd. On the okay, now if somebody does want to join or play, what do they need to do? To uh, go to our website and they can register as a free agent. So you, can, you don't have to have a group of people. Okay. If you have a group, that's great too. Someone can sign up as a captain and they then turn around and send out a, a, a guest list or an email to say, hey, come join my team. And then you put in 12 players for your team. Or if you, once again, if you're just a small group or one or two people or just one person new in town, you just come on, and sign up as a free agent on our website and pick a sport. Voila, in there. Wonderful. Tell me, um, how long have you been doing River City Sports and Social Club? I started back in 2004. During okay. the summer, we had a kickball league of eight teams and kind of grown from there. So you're actually all over town for some of the sports? Pretty much. We try to stay in the city, so anything okay. that's inside is here. Uh, everything outside is usually played at parks somewhere in the city parks. Okay. Uh, we do also, we play a broom ball, which is another sport that's played on ice, so we play at the Skate Nation, excuse okay. me, Skate Nation, or we even play in the ice rink that's outside of Shore Palm. We did that this last year. Um, but I've been around since 2004, and just constantly growing and having a good time, adding new sports once again, like bowling and axe throwing, everybody freaks out when I say that, <laughs> I know, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Everyone likes it. First week was kind of rough. People weren't really hitting the target, but by week two, if I was getting the hang of it, I had one team that was, they were so excited about it, they went back and built their own target so they could practice on their days off. Oh, that's cool. And I've had several people ask me about what type, what type of axe to buy because they want to go home and practice on a tree so they can be better when it comes to game day. Okay, all right. And and do you have instruction on things like that so that, especially with axe throwing? <laughs> yeah, so like with that, all of sports we have, you know, most of them kind of come natural, just you know, kicking the kickball, right. playing football, running, trying to catch a football, basketball, what have you. Yes, but even for Axman, we, we do instruct. We have a uh, basically, lack of a better word, range master, one who kind of oversees everything and makes it very structured. Okay, well, let's go take a look at some dodgeball. Sounds great. for letting us come down and visit with you and see the games. And if you out there want to come and join the River City Sports and Social Club, check out their website, check out their Facebook site. There's lots of sports for all ages and uh, as long as you're over 21. 
<laughs> and it doesn't matter if you're in great shape or not, right? Exactly. Okay, come on down. Here for fun. Here for fun. Come on down and make yourself at home. Cindy Merritt is nationally recognized as a leader in the U.S. real estate market. Of the more than 35,000 realtors in Virginia, the American Institute of Real Estate Professionals consistently ranks Cindy in the top 10 best realtors in the state. Make Yourself at Home is sponsored in part by Paul Adams, branch manager and nationally recognized senior loan officer with Prime Lending, a Plains Capital company. With over 400 mortgage options available, Paul Adams and his team work hard to uncover the key to each client's mortgage success.